Welcome to Main Street Living. This program offers you the opportunity to participate in a worship service led by pastors and congregations of the Lutheran Church Missouri Senate from your surrounding area. On today's program... The robe of righteousness is what Christ gives to us. He clothes us in His righteousness. Not what we do, but what He has done for us at the cross. The service will begin after this opening hymn. Good morning. Thank you for joining us this morning on Main Street Living. And this is Pastor Cormany from Battle Creek, Iowa with you today. We begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins... God, who is faithful and just, will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let us then confess our sins unto God our Father. Most merciful God, we confess that we are by nature sinful and unclean. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We justly deserve your present and eternal punishment. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Forgive us, renew us, and lead us, so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your holy name. Amen. In the mercy of Almighty God, Jesus Christ was given to die for us. And for his sake, God forgives us all our sins. 
to those who believe in Jesus Christ. He gives the power to become the children of God and bestows upon them the Holy Spirit. May the Lord who has begun this good work in us bring it to completion in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Our Old Testament reading for this day comes from the 25th chapter of Isaiah. On this mountain the Lord of hosts will make for all peoples a feast of rich food, a feast of well-aged wine, of rich food full of marrow, of aged wine well refined. And he will swallow up on this mountain the covering that is cast over all peoples, the veil that is spread over all nations. He will swallow up death forever. And the Lord God will wipe away tears from all faces. And the reproach of his people he will take away from all the earth. For the Lord has spoken. It will be said on that day, Behold, this is our God. We have waited for him that he might save us. This is the Lord. We have waited for him. Let us be glad and rejoice in his salvation. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our epistle reading is from Philippians, the fourth chapter. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your reasonableness be known to everyone. The Lord is at hand. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
the Gospel according to St. Matthew, the 22nd chapter. Again, Jesus spoke to them in parables, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who gave a wedding feast for his son and sent his servants to call those who were invited to the wedding feast, but they would not come. Again, he sent other servants, saying, Tell those who are invited, See, I have prepared my dinner, my oxen, and my fat calves have been slaughtered, and everything is ready. Come to the wedding feast. But they paid no attention and went off, one to his farm, another to his business, while the rest seized his servants, treated them shamefully, and killed them. The king was angry, and he sent his troops and destroyed those murderers and burnt their city. Then he said to his servants, The wedding feast is ready, but those invited were not worthy. Go therefore to the main roads and invite to the wedding feast as many as you find. And those servants went out into the roads and gathered all whom they found, both bad and good. So the wedding hall was filled with guests. But when the king came in to look at the guest, he saw there a man who had no wedding garment. And he said to him, Friend, how did you get in here without a wedding garment? And he was speechless. Then the king said to the attendants, Bind him hand and foot and cast him into the outer darkness. In that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. For many are called, but few are chosen. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. We confess our Christian faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen.
Grace to you and peace from God the Father and from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Have you ever told a story? You know, children, adults too, love to hear stories, but especially grandparents and parents telling stories to their children. And most of the time there's a point to those stories and they're remembered. Well, today in our text, Jesus tells a story about heaven. He said the kingdom of heaven was like a king who sent out invitations for his son's wedding feast. But everyone invited refused to come. So the king reached out to them again and let them know everything was ready. And he sent his servants, but they treated them shamefully and even killed them. So the king sent his troops and executed all the murderers and destroyed their city. In this story, Jesus was talking about Israel, and especially the city of Jerusalem. They had rejected God again and again, even though God had chosen Israel as his people. They had even killed many of his prophets. And now Israel was rejecting Jesus, and they would murder him, God's son also. And Jerusalem will be destroyed, which is exactly what happened when the Romans destroyed it in 50, I mean 70 A.D. So after hearing this part of the story, we may think we know the meaning. Be good, and everything will go well. If you're bad, you will be destroyed. So you have to be good to go to heaven, right? Yet hear the words of Jesus. Remember, even though these people knew the king, they rejected him. He invited them, but then he destroyed them for their evil deeds. But then the king says, go out and invite everyone. And the servants went out to the main roads and gathered all whom they found, both bad and good. So the wedding hall was filled with both bad and good people. So do you have to be good to get to heaven? Well, Jesus answers this question if we have an understanding of what the wedding garment is. Because there were good and bad people there, but one man decided he did not want this beautiful wedding garment, probably a robe given him by the king. He decided evidently his own clothes were good enough. So the king sees all the people there. They're all dressed for the wedding except for this one man. Where are your clothes? The ones I gave you. And so he is thrown out where there is weeping and gnashing of teeth, which means hell. And so he goes to hell, not because he's bad, but because he's missing the wedding garment. So we have to ask ourselves, what is this wedding garment? This is the robe of righteousness. The robe of righteousness is what Christ gives to us. He clothes us in His righteousness. Not what we do, but what He has done for us at the cross. And we receive this in baptism, where He washes away our sins, makes us His child, and in the Lord's Supper, He comes to us, makes us a part of Him, and He becomes a part of us. And wherever we look, when we look to Christ, we are covered in His righteousness 
so God does not see our sinful ways. But he does see the righteousness of Christ. Therefore, if a person rejects Christ, they reject his forgiveness, they reject his righteousness, there's no way to enter into heaven. But for all sinners, and all are invited, all people, I don't care what color, what country, all peoples, all nations, are invited by Christ, he died for all, to come to heaven. But the only way there is through our Lord Jesus Christ. And we rejoice that while we are still sinners, we are forgiven, covered by that robe of righteousness, and invited into heaven itself. Amen. The peace of God which passes all understanding, keep your heart and your minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. Let us pray the prayer Jesus has given us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious unto you. The Lord look upon you with his favor and grant you peace. Amen. Thank all of you for viewing Main Street Living this morning. Our hope is that you've been blessed and encouraged by this presentation. If you are able to attend local services, I would like to invite you to worship with our congregation in the Battle Creek area. And you can join us at St. John's Lutheran Church at 5th and Walnut 
on Sunday mornings at 9.30. This broadcast is supported by viewers like you, and your financial help allows us to continue. You can join us by sending a contribution of any amount to this address. And more information about this program can be found at MainStreetLiving.com, including links to other Missouri Centered websites, congregation locations, and additional ways to donate. Thank you again for joining us today, and have a blessed week. We hope to see you again at the same time next Sunday on this station. God bless.